Dear viewers, greetings. In this video, we are going to see about the endomopathogenic bacteria Bacillus thuringiensis. Uh, first, general characteristics of Bacillus thuringiensis. Uh, Bacillus thuringiensis uh, in short form is called as BT and it is a gram positive rod shaped bacteria. In arrangement, it is arranged as single pair or chains and its size, it measures 1 to 1.2 micrometer wide and 3 to 5 micrometer in length and it belongs to the family Bacillaceae and it is motile due to the presence of peritrichus flagella, capsules absent and the endospores are present. The endospores are cylindrical endospores arranged in the central to subterminal area. And next the mode of respiration. Uh, it is facultative anaerobic soil dwelling bacteria and its optimum temperature is uh, 20 to 35 degrees Celsius. A rise of temperature from 20 to 35 degrees Celsius double the titer of the spores and increase the uh, thermoresistance. When the temperature of the cultivation was increased to 40 degrees Celsius, the process of spore formation was inhibited. The optimum pH of Bacillus thuringiensis is 9.5. And regarding the cell inclusions, it contains a parasporal inclusion body called as uh, crystal proteins or cryproteins or delta endotoxins. And regarding the habitat, uh, Bacillus thuringiensis can be found in soil, insects and their habitats, uh, stored products, plants, forest and aquatic environment. Um, Bacillus thuringiensis grows at body temperature and produces a diamond shaped crystal for its crystal protein. It is also called as cryproteins and uses it to uh, fend off insects, predators and other pathogens. Bacillus thuringiensis has a circular chromosome and a GC content of approximately 32 to 35 percentage. It has a genome size of between 5.2 to 5.8 megabases. It has many plasmids and Bacillus thuringiensis strains harbors a diverse range of plasmids and that vary in number and in size from 2 kb to 200 kb. History of Bacillus thuringiensis uh, Bacillus thuringiensis was first discovered in 1901 by a Japanese scientist Shigitain Ishiwata from dead silkworm larvae while he was investigating the cause of the Soto disease or sudden collapse disease. Uh, he named it Bacillus Soto using the Japanese word uh, the Japanese word Soto represents collapse and referring to bacillary paralysis. In 1911, it was rediscovered by a German scientist Erner Berliner and a solution of crystallized Bacillus thuringiensis toxins was found to be highly effective against uh, certain crop pest, uh, which includes the corn borer, corn uh, rootworm, corn airworm and bollworms. Uh, the first commercial insecticide based on Bacillus thuringiensis uh, that is the sporin was produced in France in 1938 and used primarily to control the floor moths. Uh, in the United States, the Bacillus thuringiensis product was first used commercially as an insecticide spray in 1958 and several different strains of the bacterium are currently used to control for a number of agricultural insects and their larvae. Finally, in 1976, uh, Robert E. Strachan uh, reported the presence of plasmid in a strain of uh, Bacillus thuringiensis and suggested the plasmid's involvement in endospore and crystal protein formation. And next, toxins of Bacillus thuringiensis, uh, particularly delta toxin. Uh, the toxin produced by Bacillus thuringiensis has been used as an insecticide spray since the 1920s and is commonly used in organic farming. Uh, CYT and CRY protein that forms the crystal uh, with the toxic properties to insects are soluble in water and belongs to the delta toxin class of bacterial proteins. Uh, besides this, uh, Bacillus thuringiensis also produces uh, several other toxins such as alpha exotoxin, beta exotoxin, uh, hemolysins and enterotoxins. The delta toxin forms two classes of toxins. Uh, the first group of uh, delta toxins has 
alpha helix toxins are alpha helical uh, group of proteins that includes the CRY protein containing three domains uh, to which the alpha helix region of the protein forms a pore in the membrane. The second group of uh, delta toxin contains uh, beta barrel toxin which includes uh, CYT proteins and these are inserted into the membrane to form a beta barrel composed of beta sheet uh, hairpins from each monomers. Totally uh, five types of CRY proteins are reported. They are CRY1AA, CRY2AA, CRY1AB, CRY2AB and CRY1AC. Uh, all these uh, five types of uh, CRY protein have a molecular weight between 30 kDa and 140 kDa which are coded by CRY genes. The target insects of uh, Bacillus thuringiensis are a lepidopteran group of insects like butterflies, moths and skippers, uh, dipterian flies and coleopteran beetles. And next uh, mode of action of Bacillus thuringiensis. Uh, the bacterium Bacillus thuringiensis produces a toxic insecticidal crystalline protein in short form it is called as ICP. ICP is also called as uh, protoxin and its molecular weight is 130 kilodaltons to 140 kilodaltons. Uh, the mode of action of Bacillus thuringiensis involves six stages. In stage 1, uh, ingestion of sporulated Bacillus thuringiensis and in insecticidal crystalline protein or ICP by an insect larvae. In the second stage, uh, solubilization of the crystalline ICP in the midget takes place. The ICP is highly insoluble in normal conditions, uh, so it is entirely safe to the humans, higher animals and uh, most insects. It is solubilized in reducing conditions of high pH that is uh, pH 9.5, uh, the condition commonly found in the midget of the Lepidopteran larvae. On getting solubilized in the midget, the crystalline bodies released the protein called as uh, delta, delta enterotoxins and for this reason, uh, Bacillus thuringiensis is a highly specific insecticidal agent. And the stage 3 is activation of the ICP by midget proteases enzymes. Uh, the crystalline protoxins are inactive until they are hydrolyzed by the gut proteases. Uh, the proteases cleaves the amino acid from both C terminus and N terminus of the protoxin and this forms the active toxin. And next in the stage 4, binding of the activated insecticidal crystalline protein or ICP to specific receptors in the midget cell membrane takes place. And here a brush border membrane vesicle or BBMVs is the primary binding site for several insect species. The active toxin initially binds reversibly to the specific receptor located on the apical brush border membrane of the columnar cells. In the stage 5, a insertion of the toxin in the cell membrane and formation of the pores and channels in the gut cell membrane followed by the destruction of the epithelial cells takes place. After binding to the receptor, the toxin inserts irreversibly into the plasma membrane of the cell. The formation of toxin uh, induces the pores in the columnar cells of the apical membrane and it allows rapid fluxes of ions. The disruption of the gut integrity leads to the death of the insect through the starvation or septicemia. And finally, in stage 6, uh, subsequent Bacillus thuringiensis spore germination and septicemia may enhance the mortality of the insect pest. A crop recommendation uh, with Bacillus thuringiensis pesticide, a routine test is required to ensure that unwanted toxins and microbes are not present. Uh, Bacillus thuringiensis has been registered for use in pesticides by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency or EPA since 1961. Uh, Bacillus thuringiensis toxin can be applied to crops including potatoes, corn and cotton as a spray or less commonly in the granular form. The Bacillus thuringiensis are isolated from the soil sample by uh, serial dilution method either uh, spread plate method or plate method. The common culture medium used for the isolation of Bacillus thuringiensis is nutrient agar.
the microscopic identification of bacillus thuringiensis under gram staining bacillus thuringiensis was observed as violet colored rod shaped gram positive bacteria arranged as uh, single pairs or chains under endospore staining endospores of bacillus thuringiensis appears in green color and the vegetative cells of bacillus thuringiensis appears in red color and in motility test or hanging drop method actively motile rods were observed due to the presence of the peritrichus flagella and this image shows the uh, cultural characteristics or colony morphology of bacillus, bacillus thuringiensis in nutrient agar uh, in nutrient agar uh, the bacillus thuringiensis colonies are round white uh, slimy shape uh, smooth edges and raised elevations at the edge of this bacteria is slightly shrunken or bumpy uh, the bacteria have an embossed elevens and a tough surface our next uh, biochemical characteristics of bacillus thuringiensis uh, catalase test positive authorized test negative urease test negative indole test positive methyl red test or mr test is variable vergus fluorescor test or vp test is uh, negative citrate utilization test is negative starch hydrolysis test positive uh, casein hydrolysis test positive carboxymethyl cellulose hydrolysis or cmc hydrolysis shows positive result uh, growth at ph9 was positive growth in 0.2 percentage chitin positive esculin hydrolysis negative lecithinase production test positive gas production in glucose fermentation is positive mannose fermentation test positive sucrose fermentation test positive and finally salicylic fermentation test positive and next uh, formulation of bacillus thuringiensis uh, commercial preparations of uh, bacillus thuringiensis uh, comes in various forms such as uh, solids uh, liquids powders uh, tablets granules ball agent liquid suspensions and oil emulsions and next advantages of bacillus thuringiensis uh, bacillus thuringiensis have uh, four major advantages the first one is unlike most insecticides uh, which target a broad spectrum of species uh, including uh, both pest and beneficial insects uh, bacillus thuringiensis is toxic to a narrow range of insects only the second second advantage uh, research suggested that bacillus thuringiensis does not harm the natural enemies of insects uh, Uh, nor does it impair honey bees and other pollinators uh, which are critical to the agroecological systems and the third advantage is bacillus thuringiensis is used for integrated pest management by many organic farmers and finally the fourth advantage is bacillus, bacillus thuringiensis reduces the use of chemical insecticide sprays uh, which are extremely toxic and very expensive Uh, finally uh, disadvantages of bacillus thuringiensis uh, bacillus thuringiensis have uh, two disadvantages the first one is uh, short shelf life and remains effective for short periods because the toxic protein is broken down by sunlight or uv light and other climatic factors the second disadvantage is uh, much higher in cost that's all about the entomopathogenic bacteria Bacillus thuringiensis uh, dear viewers thank you for your support thank you